Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrey. In BL tonight, first up, we got persistent and consistent company on the move here. That's entertainment and gaming company, Supreme Ventures Group. Senior management appointment. That is Miss Nikisha Ulet, now appointed to the post of Senior Vice President of Finance at Senior VP on October 29th, 2020. Big move there. Next up, we got Fontana Pharmacy. Stronger first quarter here, or Q1 than expected on rapid revenue growth. Growth on revenues, more than 10% here. Revenues topping 1 billion Jamaican dollars. To be exact, revenues hitting 1.11 billion versus 920 million year over year for the quarter. No earnings per share for the quarter, more than doubles to Jamaican four cents per share versus one cent per share. What's even better here is that the finance cost line item, you know, we've seen this here for the second quarter in a row or so, is a bit confusing. Uh, one may say misleading, but let's use the word confusing as it has exchange losses in it. It also has lease expenses in it versus just only interest expense or debt expenses. So the quarter, one may say, is a lot better than the actual results. And this is more than doubling results because the exchange losses are in here. Next up, we got Caribbean Producers Jamaica, ticker symbol CPJ, releasing also better than expected first quarter September 2020 results. Now, a lot of people will see this, analysts will see this and say it's a big loss, but let's talk about the loss. So it's a hefty loss, yes, 1.94 million US dollars for the quarter versus a loss also from last year of 317,000 US. However, about a million US of this, 1.07 million is a line item of depreciation and amortization ticker symbol kw trading in shares here a sale surprising to see connected parties selling 3 million shares november 13th 2020 probably some liquidity just taking something off the table kingston Oars continues to do well outperforms the market in terms of stock price and so forth we'll see how the results are over the coming quarters last up and the big news for the day amazon overseas markets has launched now an e-pharmacy, shaking up the market, sending the brick and mortar stock, CVS, a few others, down by a number of percentage points. So two years ago, Amazon bought PillPack for a billion US dollars. Now, two years later, Amazon launching and ready to go in 45 states in America. Some numbers or statistics, over 110 million prime Amazon customers, members, gonna have access to this. The market here is bigger than 300 billion US dollars in sales. It's a Huge market, huge opportunity, sending ripples through the market. I'm Mark Crosscree. This is Business Life.